Okay. Now, but the deadly animal thing is kind of a stereotype. I mean, we have them, but only on the, only in the bush. Ah, you don't see them in the cities. Gotcha. I'll just stay away for the from the from the bushes. Okay, let's uh, battle these trainers. Come on. And their cocks are up in the north, so where no one lives. Okay, so south uh, is south in Australia. Okay. Like bush means like forest in Australia. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I need to go heal my team once again. Okay. I'm hoping we can finish like the post game today and then we can uh, go kind of like legendary hunting. Um, legendary hunting some other time. Because there's a lot of legendary Pokemon we gotta catch. We gotta catch every single legendary. Because you can catch every single Pokemon in this game. It's insane. Then we gotta rematch trainers and get all the hidden items on this island. And There's a lot of stuff we need to do. I still remember I glitched when I got point when I got one playing Pokemon Pro I could walk on water. I was able to get through the game so easily. There's a glitch. Are you talking about tweaking the game where you go in the black void? Because I know that glitch about tweaking the game. Because my friend did it multiple times. No, I didn't. It was a fresh game. Well, no. Well, tweaking the game it means you move so it means you move so fast in a way that the game can't load the area so it's just complete blackness and you can just walk through everything basically it was a glitch in diamond and pearl i don't know if it's patched in platinum or not but it can be done with any game cartridge i'm pretty sure but since you're in australia it might be a little different it might not be in the game because I know it was in the US version. The US version. So. Nah, I didn't do that. Literally started the game and I was able to walk on water. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Maybe just something wasn't really patched in the Australian version. I, I, I don't know. Honestly, that's. I've never. The AU, the Australian versions were Europe versions? Huh. I've never heard anything like that before. So that's interesting. Okay. Let's kill him my Pokemon once again. That's not very effective. So we didn't have our own version of this game. So yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the maybe the your versions were not patched correctly. I know there's a glitch in the Japanese version where you could like surf in the Elite Four or whatever. <sighs> I know that glitch. Oh, yeah okay let's move on actually oh wait there's no there's not a pokemon here shit fuck Oh, 
Okay. So I, I guess that guy in the snow coat is the last guy, is the last gym leader in this, in this area or whatever. Once we beat him, we could probably battle Buck and then we could do Stark Mountain. And then we'll probably be mostly done with the after game, except for all the like, little side quests and the post game and stuff. Dude, this Politoed is just like so annoying. Stop. Just stop what you were doing. Man, fucking Politoed, man. Fucking everything up. It was kicking. Yeah, it was. That fucking Politoed kept using balance. I couldn't hit it. I always like Politoed as a as a Pokemon. Maybe it's just because I like uh, Johto Pokemon. Like. Fourth gen is my favorite generation, but like my favorite Pokemon are probably second gen. I just think second gen was just so cool, you know, just all, just, you know, all the new Pokemon and the Pokemon designs. I just thought they were, just thought they were cool, you know? And I remember when I played Heart Gold and Soul Silver for the first time. Heart Gold and Soul Silver did like, the, just, just the designs in that game. Yeah, second gen had the best Pokemon. Yeah. I mean, fourth gen will still probably be my favorite generation, but I do like Johto Pokemon a lot. And maybe it's because I watched, started watching the anime when they were in Johto. Maybe that's also a reason why. Fairy type. Okay. Fairy type. Uh, we got Poison Fang and Crobat. So, yeah. Oh, well. Fuck me, man. Either Hoenn or Sinnoh is my favorite region. I like Sinnoh, uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm biased because my favorite, my first Pokemon game was actually Pokemon Diamond. And my favorite Pokemon game is Pokemon Platinum. So... But you know, I'm biased, but it's whatever. I I also do I also like uh, Sinnoh because I do think it has like some of the best music. So that's another reason. Just a pure fairy type. Pearl was my first game. Gotcha. Yeah, I got diamond and my brother got pearl. So. Well, I got diamond for my birthday and my brother's birthday is after mine. So he got pearl um, for his birthday. But he watched me play diamond for the longest time because he, he didn't have any of his Pokemon game. So, yeah. Bro, Granbull is a normal in this gen. Fairy is in this generation, though. If you, in, in this, um, in this ROM hack, at least. See if I water Fairy. So, Fairy does exist in this ROM hack. So, it is Fairy type. So, the trainer I just battled was all Fairy type. I gotta go heal up, though. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. You know. You learn new things in ROM hacks if you're going in blind. You know. That's why I don't doing. I don't like doing Nuzlocks. You know, going into the game for the first time. You know. I mean, if you do a Nuzlocke, you kind of don't know what to expect, and you know, it's more challenging. You know. But this game is brutal. Drayano ROM hacks are just brutal for a Nuzlocke, man. So, 
Yeah. Okay. We're almost done with this route. Okay. Let's get this item over here. It's a blue shard. Never gonna use a blue shirt. But it's there. This Pokemon gave some good experience, though. So. I'm probably gonna have to grind off screen probably after the stream just to kind of get my Pokemon up some levels so I don't like get my ass whooped. I just I should have just switched out man. I was like oh I have rock climb which is a rock in this pack but nope <laughs> don't work. Yeah, you took the chance. Yeah, I, I, I did take the chance, man. I was like, maybe if I hit it with the rock climb, you know, it would die. But, nope. Take the chance again. <laughs> I took the chance again. <laughs> Now I don't have Torterra for Gastrodon. I almost knocked out the wall rain. You know? I almost knocked it out. And we're done with Route 230. And we're back in the fight area. Okay. So now I think it's time to battle Buck and take on Stark Mountain. <sighs> oh. I'm so thirsty. This G fuel is uh, coming through. Because it's 2.45 in the morning. Okay, there is a Pokemon right here. So I need to buy some more items. Let's get 30. Damn bro, go to bed. Now I'm a night owl. I actually took a nap before I actually started streaming. If, if, if I'm being completely honest, I took like a two hour nap. <laughs> I, I'm a night owl, man. And G Fuel, for, it gives you energy, so... Well, it gives me energy, so I'm able to stay up, you know, long nights. And, uh, you know, since I'm a small streamer anyway, you know, I, got, I gotta stay on the grind, you know? Get many nights without sleep, man. It's, it's what you gotta do. You know, I'm a night owl, but you know, but if I need to get up in the morning to actually do something, I will get up at that time. It doesn't matter how early it is. If I only get to sleep for an hour, you know, I mean, I've stayed up for over 24 hours many times. Um, and it's just not for school too. It's just like, I've just stayed up for, now I drink gamer subs when I'm on the study grind for an exam. What's funny is I, I usually never studied for an exam. The only time I would study it was in class if they gave us study time. Otherwise, I would never study. I don't know. But yeah, I, I think my record for staying up the longest 
which don't ever do this because I felt violently sick after I stayed up for the period of time. I stayed up for 62 hours straight. I woke up Friday at 8 and stayed up and went to bed 10 p.m. Sunday night. That's 62 hours. Um, I, it's, I, I don't know why I just stay up all night for, for whatever reason. <laughs> Let me say one thing. Why do you do that to yourself? I was watching a 48 hour stream. If I'm being completely honest, I was watching a 48 hour stream and I had to get up at eight because I had to go to school. Uh, cause I had class at 10 30 AM. So yeah. And then I stayed up an hour after the stream was over. So, yeah. So, yeah. It was watch. I was watching a stream. That's the that's the honest answer. You no, know, I should have healed up. I don't know why I didn't heal up. Full heal. But yeah, don't don't like stay like. I still stay up for 48 hours sometimes just for streams but so if you don't if you don't have like the only time you get sick is if you don't eat in the middle of the night like the mistake i made uh a little while ago i stayed up for 26 hours and the mistake i made is i didn't eat between like 1 a.m and 9 a.m and then i tried eating at 9 a.m and it just like i just couldn't do it it just made me feel sick so I think what you need is you need a constant intake of food. Like get like a snack every like couple hours. And that way uh, you don't feel sick. Um, so if you do that, you don't feel sick. Damn, I've only done 30 hours. Yeah, my friend stayed up for... My friend stayed up for like 36 hours so one time, one night or something. Uh, when he came to visit and he, he didn't feel that good uh, and what, what was funny is we went down to the local 7-eleven to buy energy drinks for him because we were hanging out all night and he hadn't slept since so <laughs> we decided to get, pack him full of energy drinks but then again he had a constant intake of uh, he he had a constant intake of food, so, you know, he, he didn't feel sick. Cloister. I can probably take on Claydol. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I can't. Oh, come on. I've come so close. I don't want to lose. There we go. There we go. Thank you for healing me. After making you all that I can see, you're really strong. I want to ask you a favor. I'd like you to help me to control the volcano that passed here for a while. It's a place called Stark Mountain. Deep inside it is a special rock called the Magma Stone. I can't explain it well, but it's really important. It keeps the Pokemon asleep. But lately, I've been hearing rumors about vandals in Stark Mountain. They say goons in spacesuits are causing trouble there. Oh god, not again. <laughs> I'll meet you inside the volcano's cave. Don't be too long. Well, I'm just heading up there. That's why I came here. I came here to uh, head up there. You know? Because I, I want to explore Stark Mountain. Play rough. Fuck. Didn't even kill. There we go. Okay. Got
I do want to play some other games on stream. I just don't want to play Pokemon all the time. It's mainly I'm playing Pokemon to build up kind of like an audience. I want to do uh, I want do want to stream some other games sometime. Become a variety streamer. I just don't want to be just a Pokey streamer, you know, Pokemon streamer. So I just don't know what games to stream. I have a couple of mine, but I don't know if they'll be good games to stream. Is the thing. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's fair. Max Elixir. I usually play Minecraft or Fall 76. Dude, I haven't played Minecraft in ages. Oh. Story. This is it. Stark Mountain. Now we need to get deep inside. Let's do this. Yeah, but can that ogre really take over? Can he replace Master Cyrus? Dude, Cyrus died in Distortion World. Get over it. Yeah, I haven't played Minecraft in forever. God. Last time I played it was probably the Minecraft videos I did of Season 3 on my YouTube channel. That's probably the last time I played it. 